Hey, heathens. Uh, I mean YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to another installation of Big Al Rants. And, <clears throat> as you can see, I have tickled. Maybe it's the swine flu. Maybe I got it from Sheep Man. I don't know. And as you can see, I'm drinking green tea once again. Because it's the only thing I can think of that could help me with my sore throat. But... Uh, before I begin, as you can notice from the title, it has Sonic 4. Now, I'm not ranting about Sonic 4. In fact, let me start out with this. I saw the trailer uh, for Project Nino Mouse, which is now being called, which is now Sonic 4. And I gotta say this, I'm psyched. For the first time in a long time, I'm psyched about a Sonic game. A Sonic game! How, how fucking crazy is that? Me getting excited over a Sonic game. Because, you know, it, it looks... It looks like it's going to play like the old games, finally. And, I mean, I know people are like, well, Sonic Rush and Sonic Advance, but those aren't console games. I'm talking about, like, the first time Sonic has been on a, a console game where it's just like the classic games. And I mean gameplay-wise, not graphic-wise, which I'll get to in a second. But <sighs> Today is going to be a rant-slash-commentary on one not-whole resident. Now, you may have heard that name before, because I've mentioned him uh, a long-ass time ago. Uh, he's the creator of the Sonic fan movie that he and Spax were working on. And um, he's still working on it, and it's based off of Sadam. And um, recently, he posted a reaction to the trailer. Let's watch. Hey everybody, this is a Not Whole Resident. As you can see here, I am very pumped up about Sonic the Hedgehog 4. I've been getting tons of comments about it. The trailer was just released, and I'm going to go ahead and watch it live here on YouTube. You know, I could make a mean-spirited joke about how a grown man is playing with dolls, but I'm guilty of it as well. So here we go, everybody. This is the Sonic 4 trailer and my initial reaction live caught on video. So here we go. You ready for this, buddy? We waited over, what, 16, 17 years for this? It's your long-awaited comeback, yay! I, I take that back. At least I don't talk to them. Here we go! Sonic the Hedgehog 4! <laughs> Oh, classic! Yeah, Sonic 3, yeah! Oh, there's a motorbug! And his childhood spirit is crushed in 3, 2, 1... Okay, uh, mixed, uh, reactions here. Sorry, buddy, uh, this is not exactly what I anticipated. He was expecting Sally Acorn and Bunny. Here, why don't you sit over here? Let the, uh, let the adults speak. I must warn people from this point on, he is completely and utterly serious. None of this is acted out. He means every word of what he's about to say. Warning, pointless bitching ahead. You're, you've been under a lot of stress lately, especially for the past five months. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Where to begin? <laughs> I honestly wouldn't know where you could begin with a trailer that shows literally five seconds of game footage. <laughs> where to begin? talk for a second. What part of retro don't you understand? I don't know if you saw the same trailer that I did, but what I saw was retro. Retro gameplay, retro looking levels, old school enemies. What the fuck are you complaining about? From the amount of concept art and the black-eyed Sonic you used in the, Hedge in the Hedgehog Day banner, 
That immediately gives us old school fans the impression that Sonic 4 would reflect the classic Genesis games. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this isn't a Genesis game. It's been released for the Wii, the Xbox 360, uh, the iPhone, and PlayStation 3. So if you're thinking you could pop this in your Genesis and play Sonic 4 on the Genesis, you're an idiot. And I'm just not seeing it here. I mean, I'm not sure if you caved into the little kitties again. Oh my god. Again with this casual gamer bullshit. Look, this game isn't just for you. This is for fucking everybody. Everybody within the Sonic fan base. For you, for me, for people who've never heard of Sonic before, for people who want to get into Sonic, for people who played Sonic games, were disappointed by them, but now they're happy to see a classic style Sonic game. This game is for everyone, not just you. And besides, how the fuck would updating the graphics appeal to the kiddies in some way? Cause all I'm seeing here is a rehashed Sonic Rush game ported to the consoles. The same ugly, stretched out, green-eyed Sonic fighting the modern style Eggman. Okay, first off, this looks nothing like Sonic Rush. I own Sonic Rush. I know what it looks like. It's a great game. This looks nothing like Sonic Rush. You know what this looks like to me? This looks like a modern take on a classic Sonic game. That's what it looks like to me. And besides, what the fuck is so wrong with this character design? Oh, he's got green eyes and he's taller. Who gives a shit? Is that what he's going to be called too? Dr. Eggman? Oh, Jesus Christ. He's always been called Eggman in the Japanese games. He hasn't been called Dr. Robotnik since Sonic Adventure, and you're just now realizing this? Really? Okay, I like Robotnik better as a name too, but you don't see me making a nine minute fucking rant about it. Ugh! I'm so infuriated right now. This is a complete turn-off! It's, it's incredibly misleading! I mean... Sega... You have a lot of nerve. No, you have a lot of balls to even place this as a long-awaited fourth installment, because it just conjures up the same shitty garbage from the 3D games! Yes, those horrible bastards at Sega. How dare they finally listen to their fan base after 16 years and give them a classic style Sonic game. I mean, I'm looking at this right now in disgust. I mean, this is appalling. This is abysmal. It's a teaser trailer. A fucking teaser trailer. The game isn't even coming out yet. Till summer. What are you so upset about? I mean, I, along with most people in their late 20s, was expecting the classic style, black-eyed Sonic. Bullshit. Who are these people that you speak of? These people in their late 20s waiting for a classic style Sonic where he looks exactly like he did in Sonic 3. I, myself, wasn't expecting anything more than a revamp of the classic Sonic franchise. 